When deciding where to place your rain garden, there are three key factors to look for. Your utility lines, your foundation and property line, and your water source. Where is the water coming from? When choosing the site location, this would not be a good choice. This location here is connected to a retention wall. However, if we come right on over to this side, this is the location that we've chosen for our rain garden. This is 10 feet from our foundation, and it also is connected to our water source, the downspout. We are here doing a perk test for our rain garden. Uh, the first thing you want to do before you dig is make sure that you contact Miss Utility to have all utilities marked so that uh, you know that you're not near a utility when you're digging. Then once you've determined your spot for your rain garden, you're going to dig a test well. It's going to be two feet deep, about six inches across. Then once your hole is dug, you're going to fill it up with 12 inches of water, which will be halfway. Uh, we're gonna let that soak into the ground uh, and saturate the soil. Not long after that water has dissipated into the ground, come back with another 12 inches of water. And that one we're gonna measure to get the perk rate. So uh, 12 inches of water, six hours later, come back, take a measurement in inches, and we'll use that to calculate uh, the perk rate. 12 inches of water were poured in, and six hours later, there was zero inches of water. So 12 minus zero, we get 12. 12 inches divided by six hours, we're getting a perk rate of two inches per hour. That is a, a great perk rate for your rain garden. So sometimes uh, the water does not percolate into the ground. So if by chance you uh, let your water soak in and come back to do your second refill and realize that the water is not percolating into the ground. Um, or when we do the calculation, we realize that the perk rate isn't ideal for a rain garden. Uh, then unfortunately the perk test has failed and we won't be installing a rain garden in that part of your property. Um, this is due to if the water isn't draining into the ground, we don't want um, sitting water to create any structural issues on the property uh, or to create a nice little oasis for mosquitoes. For the rain garden, you're going to need a couple materials. You'll need sand, compost to mix in with the soil. You'll need mulch and plants for the edge. Right here behind me, we've got four bags of soil conditioner. That's our compost. Got about a half yard of sand. Um, that will be enough to get this 50 square foot rain garden to 60% sand. And then we've got a couple bags of mulch for the end. You can kind of have a lot of tools or a few tools. So we're gonna show you kind of the basics of what you need. Uh, you definitely need a shovel, a spade. We've got a couple down here. You're gonna need a spring rake, a hard rake. You're definitely gonna need a wheelbarrow to move some of that soil. Those are the three like essential tools. You can expand that out to include a tamp for the berm, to include postal diggers for planting and for digging the uh, perk tests. But all these extra tools aren't necessary. You really want that shovel, two rakes, and the wheelbarrow. Everything else is bonus. Thank you.